Hold on to your hats, folks, because science is getting weird. A new study suggests that fasting, yes fasting, could be a secret weapon against cancer. Researchers at the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, MSK, found that fasting can reprogram our immune system's natural killer cells, NK cells, those badass soldiers that fight cancer and infections. Now, you might be thinking, fasting? Seriously? Isn't that just for losing weight? Well, not exactly. This study looked at the effects of fasting on NK cells, and the results are pretty fascinating. NK cells are basically the Navy SEALs of our immune system. They can take down anything, even enemies they've never met before. But cancer cells are sneaky little devils, and they can make it tough for NK cells to do their job. Fasting, it turns out, gives NK cells a major upgrade. It's like they're going through a special boot camp, learning to survive in the harsh environment of a tumor and become more efficient cancer fighters. How does this work? Think of it like this. NK cells are normally fueled by glucose, sugar. But cancer cells gobble up all the glucose, leaving NK cells starving. Fasting forces the NK cells to adapt, learning to use fatty acids as fuel. This makes them better equipped to survive and fight in the tumor's environment. But wait, there's more. Fasting also seems to boost NK cell production of interferon gamma. This is a powerful cytokine, a chemical messenger, that helps fight cancer. So, fasting could be a powerful tool in the fight against cancer. But before you decide to go on a crash diet, remember, this study was done on mice, not humans. We need more research to see if these findings translate into real-world benefits for people. And most importantly, talk to your doctor before trying any fasting regimen, especially if you have cancer. Fasting can be dangerous if not done properly, and it's not right for everyone. We're still learning a lot about cancer and the immune system. But this research is exciting, showing that we might be able to use our own bodies to fight this disease in new and innovative ways. Who knows, maybe fasting could become a crucial part of cancer treatment in the future. But for now, let's enjoy that extra slice of pizza and keep our fingers crossed for more research.